Hi everybody, I hope you're having a great day. In this video I'm going to be covering Iron Maniac. He made his first appearance in Marvel Team Up Volume 3 issue number 2 in January of 2005. His real name is Anthony Stark and he's the equivalent of Iron Man of Earth 5012. And as such, he stands 6 feet 1 inch tall and weighs 225 pounds without his armor, also having blue eyes and black hair. When suited up, his armor has a silver and purple color scheme, very closely resembling the original gray armor that Tony Stark of Earth 616 made. But his mask is very similar to Doctor Doom's mask, even so much so that the mainstream universe's people kept mistaking him for Doctor Doom, even having one point that he wore a green hooded cloak over his armor. Now this reality Stark has many of the same traits and genius as the Earth 616 version, in addition to having cybernetic enhancements which are separate from his armor. His suit also seems to possess many of the quote unquote normal Iron Man traits, like flight, repulsor beams, vast superhuman strength, along with a myriad of other weapons. But this one in particular exhibited a power dampening ability which let him counter the effects of some people's superpowers, as well as being made from a shape-shifting or morphable alloy, which gave him the ability to make sharp tendrils or other weapons from his mind. Now, Iron Maniac is from a reality where most of the Avengers were killed by the Super Scroll Titanus. His was a dark and twisted reality, which made him into a more violent individual. At some point along the way, this reality's Reed Richards of the Fantastic Four became power hungry and he betrayed what was left of the Earth's heroes. This led to a battle where Stark was scarred by the Human Torch and he barely got away to Latveria. There he conceived the idea to take over the world to save it from Reed. But this plan didn't come through when Reed managed to trap him in the Earth 616 continuity. Once there, the Iron Maniac fought the mainstream Fantastic Four and Doctor Strange, who mistakenly took him to be their Doctor Doom. But after he unmasked himself, they realize who he is. Nevertheless, Iron Maniac still uses his ability to negate the Fantastic Four's powers to escape. He figures that he can't trust them any more than he could the ones from his world. He then goes on to pretend to be the real Iron Man, gathering up technology and a recently discovered mutant named Paul Patterson in an attempt to power a portal to get back to his own reality. But before he completed this mission, Spider-Man and X-23, with the help of Captain America and Black Widow, ended up stopping him. He's then left sedated and confined on the S.H.I.E.L.D. helicarrier, right alongside the life model decoy of Diamondback. He eventually shook off the sedation and convinced the Diamondback LMD to help him escape. But, unfortunate for her, after they beat the agents that were watching them, he took her apart and used her to build a suit that was even more advanced than the pre-extremist suit that Iron Man wore at that time, being able to form any weapon that he could think of. His subsequent rampage led him to an epic battle with Spider-Man, Wolverine, Captain America, and Luke Cage. He was actually holding his own until Crusader and Freedom Ring joined the fight. He was finally beaten, but it was only at the cost of Freedom Ring's life. Now, due to his powers and abilities and his influence on the Marvel Universe, for my 1 to 10 rating, I'll give Iron Maniac a rating of 8, which is an unforgettable rating. I hope everyone enjoyed this video. I'll talk to you next time. Be sure to like and subscribe to The New Sage.